Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. Have you ever wanted to make a frame, instead of just putting a layer on, that you want to frame it so you'd have that 3D effect of the frame? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with the Oval's Frames Collections die. So I have chosen two of the frames, and I wanted a narrow frame, and so you see how they just nestle in together, of course, for layering. And so I have two of them on there. I made sure I had them centered. And if you wanted to just be a little bit extra careful, you could take a uh, post-it note, painter's tape, somebody was sharing with me last night, washi tape, to hold those in place. So the framelit sandwich for your big shot is tab two, cutting plate, cardstock, and then the framelits. And then we'll just go ahead and crank this right through. Okay, so when we're done, of course we still have an oval <laughs> that we can save and use for something else. But what I was after is the frame that this made. Isn't that great? Okay, so um, what you could do is frame it around one that fits it. But I think that's, I just don't care for that look. I can always see a little bit of a gap, so what I prefer to do is the piece that I want to frame to be the same size as my frame. Doesn't that look a lot better? No gaps. We'll get that on there just right. So you may say, you know what, I don't think that looks really any different than just creating a layer like this. In person it, it does. Now this is a different look. Well, we'll pretend that <laughs> it's the right color. That is different because the the cardstock you know, comes out at you than this in person. It is. It's pretty cool. So if you want to take that extra step to frame a project, that is how you do it. And so this is part one. Tomorrow I'm going to show you a really cool tip on watercoloring, and I'm going to use the bordering on romance and use this for that card. So be sure to come back tomorrow. And. Uh, if you enjoy stamping tips like this, you'll want to be on my mailing list. So join the Stamping Smiles mailing list, and every month I write a newsletter with three exclusive articles just for my mailing list subscribers. And I'll have a clickable link under the screen, or you can just go to my stamping blog, stampingsmiles.com, and look for the sign-up box and join my mailing list, and you'll get my monthly newsletters. I'm Shelley Godby, teaching you how to create hand-stamped smiles. Thanks for watching.